Good morning guys and welcome to my second vlog. Um, I hope you liked the first one. As I've mentioned, uh, all of this YouTube is pretty new to me, so I have don't really have any idea of what I'm doing. So I hope you managed with my amateur editing. Um, but right now we are a bit more south of France than we thought we were gonna be because we have escaped the um, bad weather a bit more north so yesterday we decided to drive around four hours south um, and we don't really have any plans on what to to do here exactly because we didn't think we would get this south so um, I've asked some of you guys on Instagram and I've got a lot of good recommendations so I think this week we will check them out and um, it will be pretty exciting Today we are at a vineyard and um, right now the van is really really messy so I'm just gonna start out with cleaning up this mess. Um, when you're living in a van it gets really messy really quickly so um, I'm gonna fix that. We had a really slow morning and I'm also gonna do a quick breakfast for Julie. She is working on a, a job application um, for a job that she is thinking about applying for. And um, yeah, she'll do that and I'll clean up this van. we are having burgers, cheeseburgers, Julie made them, and we just came back from a wine tasting mm -hmm. uh, at the this vineyard place that we're staying in, and he was so, so sweet. sweet. Yeah, mm. he was a cutie pie. <laughs> we are surrounded by the wine, and I think this one is made. From, yeah, from here, from the wine around here. It was such a beautiful place as you um, can see here in the video and that's the fun with visiting vineyards like this. You get to know a little bit more about wine and um, mm -hmm. he told us about all of the different kinds of wine and the bottle of, bottles of wine and why they were called what they were called because it had been in the family for uh, multiple generations mm -hmm. so now we're gonna enjoy our food and some wine we are on our way to a little town in this area now so we will go there and say goodbye to this vineyard arrived in this little town, Ageles Sumer. I have no idea. But we have arrived here. It was um, a 30, like 25 minute drive from the vineyard we have been staying at. 
And we went here because we got it as a suggestion to go here. The town is supposed to be really nice. And then there's also a really nice beach. So we have packed a bag um, with some towels and stuff. To go to the beach. It is very windy. Um, as you probably saw. So... We have to see if it's too windy down at the beach or if it's going to be nice enough to stay there. Um, but um, we'll see. We did make it to the beach, but it is not as good weather as we thought it would be. A little bit windy as you can see and cloudy. But it is okay because we, when we arrived in the town, there was a little market, or just like a market in the town. So we went around to the different vendors. Then I went to a little vintage shop and got a new dress. Then we got some bread. Now there's not that much to do here at the beach. We're gonna walk back to the van and then figure out what we're gonna do. We found a park spot, or Julie did. Mm -hmm. um, unpark for night. Unpark for night, and where are we right now? We are at a chateau. Chateau, at a French chateau. Um, and it's super beautiful. We didn't think we would be able to, to walk here, but it's apparently a park. And it's gorgeous. Here we have the van and the vineyards. And the van again. And Juliet is kitchen. What is on the menu for the night? Lemon pasta. Lemon pasta. Haramba. <laughs> Chateau. Chateau. Michel. Limon. <laughs> okay, and okay. if you want to see a more in-depth recipe of the... Lemon pasta. Lemon pasta. Where can you see it? On Emma's Instagram. Emma uh, Schroberg. So, um, link in bio. Link in bio. And pasta dish coming on. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we are making breakfast and we got this quarter of a loaf yesterday at the market. And it looked very nice and it was like moist and everything. And then we were like, okay, we, we'll get a quarter. And then he was like, okay, fine. And he waited it. And then he was like, five euro. And we were like, five, five euros. euros. That's a lot for, for like a quarter, like a quarter of, a of a loaf. And then the entire loaf would be 20 euro. It yeah, it does sense. not make any sense. We're like, did we get ripped off? Or <laughs> like, like this. That, this is basically it. Five euros. And it, like, just in comparison, you can get a normal baguette in France for how much? Like 30 cents. 30 cents, yeah. So, um, interesting. Shit. So now it better be really, really good. Um, and we'll have that for Brecky. Status. This bread is actually really, really good. Very moist and tasty. Mm -hmm. So, I can we get that it's expensive, but it's still too expensive, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Too expensive. Yeah. In Denmark, you can get an entire loaf like this for maybe six euros, yeah. seven euros. <laughs> That's when living in a car, people can just look at what you're doing. And we're parked in a public parking lot, so. But um, really good. 
before we leave we need to get the dishes done we need to fill up on the water and then get our leveling blocks uh, in place we just drove uh, one hour to um, a little town up in the mountains um, however it is super super windy and the weather is not as nice as we hoped but um, the plan is to go to a train ticket office and see if uh, they have tickets to go on something called the little yellow train um, where it's a very scenic route uh, where you can see the mountains but I am doubting that it will happen because there's something about construction work on their website. So um, we'll have to go up there and then see if it will happen. Emma from the future here. I am editing uh, the vlog and I totally forgot to mention that one thing about uh, this town that was pretty funny was that they had a lot of witch decorations uh, in town um, so there were a lot of small witches everywhere and we researched and it is because uh, the town has a local folk legend about witches um, because it was supposedly um, a place where the witches they lived in the caves during winter and then in the spring the witches they came out and celebrated a spring with the villagers and then they gave them gifts uh, in form of like um, happiness and prosperity and stuff like that uh, so that's why they decorate with witches in the town because it uh, keeps away uh, evil spirits and is a form of um, good fortune. Now back to the vlog. Living in a van you get um, an appreciation for very nice public toilets and this is a 5 out of 5. Okay, show them around. Okay, welcome to my toilet. <laughs> This is where I just peed. <laughs> With a huge mirror and soap. and soap. There's soap. There's soap and paper and toilet paper and. <laughs> we are back from Villefranche. Villefranche. Um, mm -hmm. And you probably saw yeah us going to the town. And we never got on the train ride. It was cancelled. Um, but we visited the town anyways. And at first it was kind of abandoned. But it ended up being more lively. Or mm. more people ended up coming. And it was actually a pretty cute town. But we decided to spend the rest of the day here in the van. Just having um, kind of a slow fall day. Because it's very fall weather outside. So we are going to have a cup of coffee and tea. We're going to make some jewelry. Uh, I'm going to make a necklace for my grandmother. And Jules, what are you thinking you're going to do? Uh, maybe a necklace. Yeah, maybe a necklace as well. And watch New Bigone. New Builders. New Builders. New Bigone. A building and... Decorate, decorating program TV show.
status update on the hike. Um, the hike is not that long. How long is it? 6.4. 6.4 kilometers. We've done, I think, one kilometer or something so far. But I think this is by far the ha hardest hike I've ever been on. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some super steep inclines. You can't really see it on camera, but it's crazy. And it's like a little bit dangerous. There's not any railing on the side. So um, yeah, you had to tread, tread pretty carefully. Mm -hmm. You have to be pretty careful at least. But the views are to die for. Not to die for, but <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we are gonna walk here at some point, I think, in this like thing. Wish us good luck with the hike up here. Yo, yeah. That's no problem. taken what well, it was supposed to just be a water break but it ended up being a little bit of a tanning session so i've been lying here on the rocks and relaxing tanning and finally feeling the sun for the first time and like the sun has been out but not it's not been warm so it has been really nice but now we're getting up and ready to go again Stressed out <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this i usually have like i have no idea how i'm going to get through this this oh, it's crazy oh. We have finished the hike and it was so so good. Um, we used an all trails uh, hike. I will put a picture of the hike up here. Um, now we're gonna go home and have just a relaxing pizza and movie night. just woke up and it's pretty cold in here um, it's cold up here in the mountains now in fall so we have seen what we want to see up here so we are planning to get down from these mountains now and go a little bit more into the country to go to Kakason Kakason I don't know um, so um, yeah that will be really exciting now we'll just get the van ready and just get on the road pretty quickly. Um, so that's the plan. We are on the road again and on our way to Kakasone. Kakasone? I have no idea. And I am in my PJs. That is definitely one of the really nice things about van life that you can just like hop on the front seat and then just drive wherever you want in whatever kind of outfit you want to do. We are well on our way to Kakasan. Um, I am about to upload uh, the first YouTube video. I'm really excited how you guys like it. Uh, I hope you will like it. I'm a bit nervous, this is very different. But on that note, I think I will end this vlog here. If you want to see some content from Kakasan, I will be uh, posting it on my Instagram. See you in the next one!